Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy Crush. Let's talk about the sorry Clippers, man. These dudes just lost again to the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies lost to every team. They had one win. Am I shocked the Grizzlies got their second win on the Clippers? No, I'm not shocked. Everybody's beating this team right now. They can't defend very well. They're too small. They're on the man, on the size, and they struggle to play man-to-man -man defense. In the first quarter, you can see it. It's a lot of double teaming, which is leaving Luke Kennard open for wide open threes. There's a lot of double teaming. They've been struggling with their man-to-man -man defense. Too many offense on the floor. When you have all these Hall of Famers on one court, there's only one basketball. So, you know, you have all these offensive players, superstars, ex-superstars, whatever. And they're trying to share one basketball. And nobody's trying to step on each other's toe when you can see it. So they're very indecisive. Oh, okay, you have the ball. It's your turn. It's your turn, my turn, basketball. Because they're all trying not to step on each other's toe. Understandably. And it's just bad right now. So they started the first quarter just playing really bad defense. Memphis almost scored 40 points in the first quarter. Second quarter, when James Harden went to the bench, the defense picked up. They locked in, started playing better defense, and came back. So Memphis didn't score that much in the second quarter because the team locked in. James, James Harden is on the bench. Ross PG and the rest of the team, they locked in, started playing better defense. Then comes the third quarter. So the Clippers were doing really well. They did great in the second quarter. They played their best game in the second quarter. Great defense. PG got hot. And it was a good second quarter. They brought the game back close. But their issues are glaring, man. They can't play defense. At least man-to-man -man defense. They can't play man-to-man -man defense. It's a lot of help coverage, you know, double teams. No one could man up. Beyond Kawhi and PG, no one else could play man-to-man -man defense. So all that switching and help coverage is leaving shooters open. Like Luke Kennard is just taking practice threes all night. And it's bad, man. It's glaring. They're under man. They're so undersized. It's crazy. You know, they're really undersized, man. They're a small team. And that's a big part of their struggle. They're so small that they got to double a lot of times. They got to keep doubling. And it's leaving shooters open. And of all shooters, why would you leave Luke Kennard open? He's a sniper. They should know that. He used to be on the Clippers. So they leave him open. He hit a few threes. And it's just bad, man. And let's get on to Kawhi Leonard. What is up with Kawhi? Kawhi can't seem to close games. I have yet to see Kawhi close a game since last season and the season before that. What happened to Kawhi? Like, he can't close games. It could be a tie game. They could be down by one. It doesn't matter. Kawhi will get the ball, turn it over, or, or he shoots it, and it's short. Whenever Kawhi makes an attempt to close the game, it's always bad. He can't seem to close games. What is wrong with him? I don't know. Kawhi could give you 30, 40 in regulation. But when it's, you know, game on the line, crunch time, here's the ball, Kawhi. Bring us home. He can't do it. I have yet to see Kawhi close a game as a Clipper in the past two seasons, maybe even longer. I have yet to see Kawhi close a game. What is wrong with Kawhi? And we know it's not fatigue because he was resting most of the game. Kawhi rests the entire fourth quarter, three, about four or five minutes remaining. So he rests the entire fourth quarter. So we know it's not fatigue. He just can't close games. Paul George is a better closer than Kawhi. I won't say he's a better player, but as far as close the game, closing a game, PG is a much better closer than Kawhi. I don't know what's wrong with Kawhi. He can't close games. Every situation, this season, last season, the previous season, it's the same story. Close game, down by two points, or tied game, here's the ball, Kawhi. Bring us home. He can't do it. He can't do it. And this team is too small. I know we keep beating a dead horse, but it's so glaring. They're too small. They need more wings, more size. They're too small. And Plumlee's out, so they don't have a backup center. But they're too small, man. Watching the game, you can see it. They're too small. They're getting killed on the boards. You know, defensively, they're not that good. 
constant double teams, switches, double teams. Shooters are constantly open on the Grizzlies. And I'm not surprised they lost to Memphis. Even though every other team have been beating Memphis, it would be the Clippers to lose to Memphis. It would be. And it's just bad, man. It's bad. It's not looking good. You could say it's early on in the season. It's a small sample size, whatever, yada, yada. But it's bad, man. It is bad. And this is why we all knew the James Harden trade was a big mistake. It was a huge mistake. Why would you tamper with something that's not broken? The team was fine. If you want to go out in the trade deadline and get some more pieces, okay. But the team as a whole was fine. They didn't need anything. The only thing they needed was for Kawhi and PG to stay healthy. That's it. If Kawhi and Paul George could stay healthy going into the playoff, that's all they needed. But no, we're going to blow it all up, trade important pivotal pieces, players, bring James Harden in, and now it's a shit show. And they can't beat anybody. They just lost to Memphis, the worst team in the NBA, if not one of the worst teams in the NBA. Memphis won their second game on the Clippers. Of all teams, the Clippers. There was a point in the third quarter. The team was playing great. Everything was going well. James Harden was on the bench. PG made a comeback. PG and Russ was playing together. You know, they have chemistry. It's going great. James Harden was on the bench. And they brought him back in. And it's downhill again. I don't want to blame and put everything on Harden, obviously, because there's more issues. But man, it's just bad. It's bad. And I don't know what the fix is beyond trading James Harden, you know, at the trade deadline, because I don't know what the fix is. It could be better at the trade deadline if they bring in some more size, some wings, you know, some more size. You know, that could balance out the whole situation. But right now, they're a very, very small team. And it's glaring. Memphis is not the biggest team, no, but they have a few big men. And you can see it, man. You can see that. The Clippers are struggling with these big dudes, 6'8", 6'9", Jaron Jackson, he's 6'9". And you can see the struggles, man, because Zubak is the only big player, legit 7-footer. Everybody else is small. PG is 6'8", 6'9", Kawhi 6'7". And beyond Kawhi and PG, it's all smaller, 6'4", 6'5". And it's bad, man. Like, if you can't beat Memphis, you have four Hall of Famer on the floor and you can't beat Memphis? Even if the chemistry is terrible, no chemistry, whatever. Say your chemistry is not there yet, fine. Talent-wise, you have so much more talent. I know talent alone don't win games, obviously. You need chemistry. But in certain situations, based off just having the better players, you should win. You have so much more better players than Memphis currently. You should win this game. And they had multiple opportunities to win the game. They made some bad plays, some mistakes. Like So PG had a great game. You know, he tied the game, made some big plays. He hit a three, I think, tied the game. Soon after, right after, Desmond Bain came down on the fast break, pull up for three, and he got fouled, and a technical five-point play. That was the most pivotal play that turned the entire game around into Memphis' favor. Because the Clippers had momentum, they tied the game, and the Clippers played poor transitional defense. So Desmond Bain came down, you know, in transition, pull up for the three, got the foul, and that was the most pivotal play in the game. That play literally sealed their fate. That one play. They played bad transition defense on that play, man. That one play is what turned the tide and it was over. But there are so many issues, man, glaring issues, man-to-man defense, rebound, size. They have so many flaws and issues right now. Because they traded all their teams and wings and big men for James Harden. They traded everything they had for James Harden. And now the team has so many glaring issues that won't be solved or fixed unless they go out at the trade deadline and bring in some wings and big men. That's the only way. They got to go find some wings, big men to replace what they traded away to get James Harden. Hopefully they could get that done, man, because... As they currently stand, they're not winning anything. Do I think they're going to miss the playoff? Not really. They might sneak in the 7 8 seed. At worst, if things don't get better, they're going to make the playoff 7 8 seed. At worst, it could turn around. Like I said, it's early, but 
it's not looking good, man. It's not looking good. But man, so many issues, man. So many problems that need to be solved. It's not looking good, man. It's bad. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share. Holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. I'm going to say it. It's all about the game.